Kara Burnett, growing up, when did you realize you loved her and what was it about her? Um, I remember a lot of after the fact things where as you consume more and more culture that kind of predates what was right in front of you as a kid, uh, certain movies, uh, certain musicals, and you go, wait, that's the same, that's the same person. That's that chick from that thing. Oh my God, she's in all these? Holy cow. So um, for me, probably Annie would be the biggest and probably most predominant gateway drug to her for people of my age uh, and people of my disposition that love uh, musical theater and, and uh, likewise musical theater and movies. That was probably the first time. And then I remember getting really into old clips of her show uh, when things like that started popping up on the internet where you could just watch entire shows from the 60s and 70s on YouTube. To say that she's had a pretty prolific career is like a gross understatement. So I don't use this term sparingly, but she's definitely like goat status. Now, Carol's not the only big birthday in April. Your daughter Bluesy is turning one. No, it's crazy. Talk to me about that life. I have nothing unique to say. That's my reaction. Because people always ask that to be very, very sweet and I, I should have some kind of stock cute one-liner, but I go, all, it's in all the songs, it's in all the poems, all the books, all the novels, all the movies. It's all been said, uh, so I all, it, it, it's all correct. It all tracks, which is why consuming culture is important, because they're telling you what it's like. And uh, so I feel like, yeah, it's exactly what, uh, what, what, what the, the elders done told us. <laughs>